Hello, everybody. This is Michael. In this video, we will talk about the FPGA Division 01, Solution 1. Okay, so for the FPGA Division, the first thing is we need one FPGA. For the FPGA, we will have one clock input and one reset input. Also, we will have one date input. It is uh, deviant. Okay, dividend. And another input. It is the uh, um, divisor. Of course, we will have we will have one output, and it is a uh, uh, quotient. And another output, it is uh, remainder. Okay. So this is a system block for the uh, FPGA division. So how we do the division? Uh, for the regular math, we will do it like this. Oh, this is the first equation, okay? To get the quotient. And, I, and the other equation will be like this, okay? It will get the remainder. So for our uh, FPGA in Verilog code, actually, we can directly use this equation. So uh, let's code it and take a look how it works, OK? First, uh, let's open our Visual Studio code. We will new one file. And we will edit our common information. OK, so this is a div division module, DV, OK? We save it first. Save. We will save it into um, we will save it into this folder. Copy and paste. So if save it here, the name is a uh, division. DIV, div dot v okay we save it okay so the first things we will create the module module name and the module interface so it is here module module name the input is clock and the reset and the another input a input b input and another output, C output, and D output, which will match uh, this system clock, okay? A, B, C, D, and the clock and the reset, okay? So this is our system, uh, this is our interface, okay? So next, uh, we will use one always block to do the calculation, always block, uh, clock, reset. When system is reset, we reset these two output as zero. And after that, after one clock, we will output the C and D like this. Exactly match our equation here, okay? So the last things we added the end module. We added the end module. Okay. So uh, this is the most simple one. This is a uh, uh, this is a division module. So let's create the uh, test bench for it. Okay. We knew one more file, and we added. Uh, uh, time scale here editor uh, common information 
So this is the division test bench. We copy it and we save it. Save the test bench first. Save into the same folder and which is the .dov file vertical save. Okay, so next we will define the clock period. Define the clock period. And also we will define the module. It is uh, uh, division test bench. And uh, next we will define the uh, test target. The test target is very simple. It's this division, division, clock, reset, A input, B input, C output, D output, okay? So next step, we will define the variable. The variable defined like this. So all the input defined it as a reduced value, reduced value. All the output defined it as while, while type, while type, okay? In the end, uh, next, we will create the clock. We need one clock to drive the test target, okay? Initial the clock as one, always here, create the clock. Next, we will create the test flow. The test flow is very simple. Uh, initial, begin, end. At the beginning, we reset the system. We reset the system, okay? And uh, we put the input all zero, all zero. After one clock, we finish the reset. We finish the reset and initial the input. A is 14, is 14, B is 3, it means uh, 14 divided 3, okay? So after 50 clock, we stop the simulation, okay? The last things, we need to edit the end module, okay? So this is the end module, we save it. We have our uh, module module file and test bench file. So next step, we will create our model sim to simulate it to see whether it is correct or not. Okay. So uh, let me open uh, my model sim. Okay. So this is my uh, model sim. And let's uh, create the project first. Create file, new uh, project. Project name is DB, and the project location. Uh, we create the folder here. We new one folder into the. Uh, into the source code folder, make it model C. Okay. Double click, and we copy this path. Put it into here. Put it here, the model C. Click OK. Click OK. Wait a moment. OK, and then edit file, existing file, browser, and up. Choose these two files, open, click OK, and close. Click any one of it, and click here, compile all. 
to see whether there is an uh, error or not. Okay, it's all check means pass the uh, pass the compile. The next step we will do the simulation, start simulation. Okay, we waiting for our simulation interface. Is here. Click the walk and click this one and click OK. Okay, so this is our model theme uh, simulation interface. We added all the uh, waveform, all the signal in the region into the waveform, into the waveform interface. We change the uh, we change the four signal. The display format is like unsided. Okay, unsided. Move a little bit. Move, move. Okay, we change the uh, simulation time like this. And then we remove it a little bit. Okay. And then we run it. Click here. Click here. Run it. Okay. Click this any places. And click zoom full. Okay. You will see. We get the output C and D. The C is 4. The D is 2, so it, it is correct. A divided by B, the C should be 4, the D should be 2. It is correct. It proves our um, calculation is right. But how much the FPGA cost, uh, how much the algorithm cost the FPGA resource? We need to uh, Create our um, quarters quarters project to see the resource consuming. Okay, the FPGA resource consuming. So let's take a look how we um, how we um, see how we check the FPGA uh, resource consuming. So let me open our quarters. Quarters software create the quarters project and compile it and see the um, FPGA resource consuming. So this is our quarters software. So this is our quarters software, and we will um, create our quarters project into this folder uh, we new one uh, new one folder for quarters quarters project okay okay so we double click it and uh, Copy it. So here we will new pro new project create new project use the new project visa. Okay, create new project is here. So new project we click next and uh, working directory. We put it under this folder. The name is division. And then click next. Okay, so we make it empty project and click next. And we added files. Added files. Okay. We added click here. To select the files, we 
we put it and into this folder. So is this file open? We only have one file, and then we click next. Okay, here we choose uh, um, Cyclone V and the package QFP, and the pin number is this one, and the speed is eight. So uh, we click this one. We choose this one on our ball and next, and. Uh, click finish so it will create the quarters project after we create the quarters project we can do the analysis and the census and also we can do the uh, feature place and router okay just uh, wait a moment okay so it creates a uh, project and then we click here double click here analysis and the census double click it it will compile it just not wait a moment Okay, so it finished the uh, analysis and the synthesis. And if you uh, check the flow summary, you will see the total logical elements is this number. Okay, is this number 150, 154. Okay, and total register is this one. And we can do, also can do the uh, place and route also we didn't uh, set in the pin but doesn't uh, it doesn't matter we can uh, do it to see the final result to see the logical elements it's, it's the same okay just a moment okay so uh, you will see uh, I clo close this one first. You will see it will give the total elements, logical elements. Is this number? Is this percentage? Okay? And it's uh, reduced like this. We keep this one, we copy these two into one file. And, uh, okay. This is solution one, and then we will compile other solution to see the FPGA resource consuming, how much it is to compare each other, okay? To see which way, which way is uh, is a better. Okay, this is uh, zero one. It is solution solution one. Solution one. And it will be like this. Okay. Save it. Save it. Okay. So this is uh, uh, solution one and how we coding it and how we simulate it and how we uh, write into the um, write into the quarters project. Okay. This is solution one okay we save it we save it next time we will uh, take a look at the solution two uh, solution two how we coding how we analyze and how we coding and how we simulation it also we will see the uh, we will see the FPGA resource uh, how much how many logical elements it costs okay okay so that's this video and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm Michael and uh, see you next time